Hello, it's Tuesday, the 3rd of March, 2009. Brian Shannon here from alphatrends.net, and uh, same story here again today, uh, just not as bad for the bulls. But we did uh, see the markets losing ground once again. The NASDAQ was down two cents and still appears to be closing in on these levels seen uh, in uh, early 2003, near about that 25 and a half level, and then below that, potentially down near 23 and a half. So we're still seeing a, uh, a, a flight out of stocks into cash. And nothing seems to be working on the long side, uh, except for the uh, inverted funds, of course. Um, and, you know, we broke support here last week, and we've continued to sell, sell off. The curious thing to a lot of people is that uh, it sells off on light volume. And, again, I will always remind you that only price pays, and whether you lose money on heavy volume or light volume is irrelevant. Volume is a study that we look at to say relative to an event or relative to an average. Uh, but when we see the, the market moving lower, the, the, the relativity doesn't matter. What matters most is price action and it obviously continues to be uh, negative. We did look like maybe we're going to get a little bit of a rally in here, but as I pointed out on the blog earlier, uh, there's just all these levels of prior support uh, to act as uh, levels where uh, sellers came in, and this was one level I pointed out. That's where the market had gotten up to. Uh, here in the one-minute time frame, you see it was a nice tradable rally in there, and perhaps the, you know I found it to be the, the most tradable uh, trend of the day, but uh, still, you have to be quick, obviously, and the only place that it makes sense to engage this market, unfortunately for most people, is on the one-minute time frame. So here we had that break of the trend line and this break of resistance, but it was only able to get up to this prior level of uh, short-term support from yesterday morning, and then the sellers came back in and knocked it back down once again. So you just cannot trust these moves. The primary uh, trend obviously remains lower, and we've, uh, we've broken, obviously, this uh, 27 area. So the, the lows still look like they will be tested down near about 25 and hopefully we'll see a big volume washout that can kind of clear the way uh, that, that just has has that big emotional give up by a lot of people uh, because the grind lower is uh, is less difficult to trade in particular on a day when you have such tra tra uh, choppy trading action uh, like we saw today the Russell 2000 was down 1.8 percent so uh, last week it looked like uh, those those lows were pretty far away but obviously we've we've taken those out and continue to uh, to, to move to levels not seen uh, for for multiple years here looking at the weekly time frame uh, you know we have to go back to the monthly time frame to, to put this into perspective and say where are we and where do we have the potential to go well these lows from 2003 are at about 34 and a quarter or so and those still look very likely obviously they're 70 cents closer than they were yesterday and uh, now they're only about uh, two dollars away so you know only about an eight percent move from here which uh, the way this market's moving is, is just a few days away today it, it again it lost 1.8 percent and um, no signs of support whatsoever uh, lighter volume but that is not a reason to buy what would it take to to get me more interested in the long side i think we need to see this five day moving average flat now and then you know, at a minimum the market gets this real powerful rally above that five day moving average it pulls back and then the five day moving average holds the support but it's so far away right now and the 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 steepness of the decline tells me that any rallies should only be very short-term oriented it's still way too early to be looking for even an intermediate term bottom if that changes I'll, I'll update it as I see it uh, throughout the day uh, on the blog or on Twitter but right now we've got all these prior levels of uh, support acting as resistance yesterday's uh, yesterday afternoon's lows uh, we're, we're acting as resistance here late in the day. We had an initial gap higher, but of course that failed and it stayed below the declining VWAP rally right up to it in there, fell back, and then in here, market attempted to rally as the uh, as the Nasdaq did, but obviously this was the weaker market today. And again, closing right near these lows in here, no signs of any real support. I mean, we're looking at one minute time frames here. These are really not very important in the grand scheme of a bottom making process. There's just zero evidence of that. Turn your, you know, turn, 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 a, uh, turn a deaf ear to the people who are calling bar, uh, market bottoms because there's been just thousands, you know, countless victims of the uh, bottom calling process 
throughout this market. Eventually, we're going to get a sharp rally. Then we'll see if it holds, but there's no reason to be early to these uh, uh, tr trend uh, reversals because they take a lot of time. Markets correct through price, but they also correct through time. We're still in the price process, so uh, expect it to be a longer-term process. The financials were down again today as well. Obviously, that uh, that market be is, is the one that's continuing to lead us lower here. Uh, 14 cent loss equated to almost a 2% uh, decline today. So we have, uh, we did take out the lows from last week by a penny and uh, we also closed at a, a new closing low. So intraday lows uh, and, uh, you know, as far as intraday move uh, for, for this year and, and obviously the last uh, what decade or so, right? Um, and, and also uh, a new closing low as well. The market remains below the daily VWAP. This very short-term level of support at 685, no reason to think that that's going to hold. The, uh, the, the, the low here was 685, and we did touch 684 today. So a lot of people are probably going to be calling this a double bottom, but uh, they called everything a double bottom on the way down. So let's wait for price evidence before we decide that. If the market finds some support in here, then your job is to, again, to, to, to look for the evidence of that objectively based on what price is telling you set your stops if the market continues to to make a pattern of higher lows and higher highs then you listen to the message of the market raise your stop underneath those higher lows and move to the sidelines when it breaks down through it because the bigger primary trends on the longer term time frames remain lower and it, it, any any counter trend trade on the shorter term time frames is going to have a very small chance of succeeding when we have such large powerful uh, trends on, on the longer term time frames this market you know all the way down it's down too much the PEs the values sovereign funds are buying uh, you know this company's taking it over this you know on and on and on insiders buying tarp funds uh, there's no news that has slowed slowed for more than a couple days the descent in here there's real fundamental trouble and um, that's that's the message that the market is broadcasting. The S and P 500 finished weaker by three quarters of a percent again today, and this market continues to uh, probe new levels uh, that that haven't been seen since you know, looking back at the, at the charts from 1996. And we're closing in on the, that area that I've been talking about, which is uh, found at about 68 dollars uh, or so. Below that again is you know, so 68 and a half down to about 64. Here's a potential level and that's all it is is potential there's nothing at all to suggest that this will become support just because it's an area in the past and, and realistically why does why does this level take on significance is it because there's buyers from 1996 looking to average dollar cost average in maybe there are but but you know that 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 mindset doesn't make sense to me what makes sense here is this is a level that a lot of people are looking at and when a lot of people look at technical analysis a lot of these things pivots moving averages and that sort of thing I've written at length about this they tend to become a self-fulfilling prophecy where we have uh, people who decide I'm gonna stop selling when it gets down there other people say I'm gonna stick in a bid see how it ha see how it see if it holds we have less supply and more demand but that's just a potential area where then the the, uh, the bigger battle may be fought because otherwise there's, there's really nothing to look at here so 68 and a half continues to be an area that I think it is likely to be tested, but if it doesn't, you know, you, know, you trade what you see now, not uh, uh, not what your uh, your mind tells you should happen. Um, a lot of people, I've st I'm still getting emails saying I've, I'm all in, I'm buying, and that's you know, if that's your style, then good luck, manage risk, know where your stops are. Um, eventually, it will stop going down, but until I see that evidence, I'm not comfortable trading uh, alongside off of anything for more than these one-minute time frames and managing risk very tightly. It, we had this little rally in here, then it got very choppy with heavier volume. And on Twitter, someone asked me, you know, what do I think of the volume here in the last hour? Is that that big volume uh, in, with with that volatility indicated indecision? It made me very defensive. It came down to VWAP. I tried a, a trade right. 
right in here and got stopped out instantly and took a small loss in there but over here there were good gains on the long side so you can still make money on the long side in this market but you got to be sitting there watching it very carefully short term the more important level of uh, potential resistance is 72 above that of course we've got this level well above that we've got this level here basically every dollar level up you know 72 then at 73 is where we get to this level that it gapped down to on Monday and uh, then we have Friday's close so there's nothing here at all to suggest that this market is undergoing the bottoming process uh, we've clearly blown through the uh, the, the November lows and uh, things continue to look uh, very grim